Welcome to another episode of Marathon Training with Luis Horta. Today we're doing the Boston Fartlek. Alright, we are at the Boston Fartlek and the plan they just told us is 1-1. One, one. So one minute really fast, one minute slow. And I think for 50 minutes, and but I'm gonna do like 40. Or that's my plan at least, see if I can handle it. Uh, it's 8.52, they start at 9. So I have like 7 minutes to do drills. And then a ton of people should be here. Hopefully a big group again, like 100 people or so. It's just more fun that way, I like it. Um, but yeah, let's see how it goes. So apparently it's 3 1 now. <laughs> Change the plan on me again. <laughs> so that's like doing case. Uh, whatever, I'm ready for anything. Ready to ten, die. Very good today. Two, two, what? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. I'll get it done. For every fartlek, I'm always hoping and praying that we have one one or two one. This means one minute hard, one minute easy. Because the longer the rep it gets, the harder the workout it is. So when it's three one or four one or five one, I know I'm gonna suffer a lot. But then if it's one one, that means one minute fast then you have one full minute to recover. So it's a lot faster, but for me, it's a lot better, a lot easier to handle one one than three one. But of course, every time I go to this type of fart legs, they always have three one or five one ready for me. Actually, I think they see me and they're like, oh, let's change it to five one so Luis hurts. Because every time I go, we have to do three or five. This time, when I got there, they said 1-1, one, one, and I was like, whoa, a miracle. I'm gonna do 1-1, one, one, and I was so excited. And then, literally, seconds before we started, they're like, actually, let's do 3-1. And I'm like, ah. But I mean, it's fine. It's what I have to do, and it's a really good workout. A good way to see it, 3-1 is doing K repeats. Because at this pace, they're running a little bit over one kilometer each time. I don't know exactly how far we went, it's hard to say, especially because it's up and down and so many rocks, but definitely over 1k. I would say we averaged 255 or maybe 250. In, in that type of terrain, that is very hard, very fast, and also you only get one minute to recover. And sure, one minute is enough, but at altitude, and the one minute recovery might be uphill. So sometimes the recovery is not enough. And if you're not ready, too bad, because you're gonna go again at one, with only one minute. So you better be ready. You better be ready to go again at one minute in order to keep going fast. In this fart leg, I was very proud of myself because I stayed strong, I stayed confident, and I stayed in the front. That's what I told myself. Whatever you do, stay in the front. And then for the recovery parts, I tell myself, it's kind of like a meditation process time where I tell myself all right you have 60 seconds to bring your heart rate down to breathe better to relax your body and then we go so it's only 60 seconds not that much but it is enough to get yourself ready for another hard three minutes and then in the three minutes what I tell myself is all right one minute where you're going fast one minute be strong and then the last minute do whatever you can in order to stay in the front with the guys if you see, we started, I don't know how many we were, but we were a big group. And I was always in the front with five, ten guys maybe. These guys train here every day for many, many years. So it makes me proud to be able to stay with them and stay strong in the front. Maybe I wasn't the lead guy, but hey, I'm in the front and, and that's fine. One thing I do have to say is that they were going uh, 13 and I did 10. So in my head I did 10 by 1k and I was like that's plenty, that's enough, especially with only one minute recovery. So they sure, they had three more than me, but I'm fine, I'm, I'm okay with only doing 10 and that's what I had in the plan. Like My coach was like, you know, a 40 minute effort, doesn't matter if it's 1-1, one, 2-1, one, 3-1 one, one, or whatever, but only 40 minutes should be enough. If you feel good, you can do one more maybe, but you don't have to. 
And when my coach says that, I'm like, okay, 10 it is then. So I was very happy with that. This route is the Boston Farleg. So as I've said in previous videos, there's two Farlegs going on at the same time in E10. One, the two tires or tire and milling, and then the Boston Farleg. We nobody knows what the program is, the program being what the workout is until you get there. Um, so it's two big groups going in two different directions. And this route, they call it the Boston Farley because it's like the Boston route. So the first three reps feels great because you're going down, but then it's just gonna go up and up and up and up. And because it's three minutes, it's really, really hard. So we were doing over one kilometer in three minutes, going uphill on that dirt road with a lot of rocks. Definitely a really hard workout. But hey, it was a really good day and I was very happy and very proud of it. The shoes I'm wearing in this workout are the Alpha Flies. As I mentioned in previous videos, for me, this is maybe just for me, I don't know. The, the ground, the grip that the shoes have with the dirt roads is pretty good. So with the Vapor Flies, even though I really love the Vapor Flies, they're too flat and I feel like they slip a little bit and they don't grip enough. But with these shoes, I feel a lot of grip and I feel a lot more powerful. They are also higher shoe. And because there's so many rocks, it kind of protects my feet from pounding on those rocks. With the vapor flies, I definitely feel the rocks on my feet. It doesn't feel comfortable. With the alpha fly, I feel like I'm a little higher, so it doesn't hurt. It feels a lot better. When I only had one left, the guys realized that I was struggling, which I was. And it was a very nice gesture that they were like, all right, Luis, stay with us, stay with us, stay here in the front. And that's pretty cool, because like, we don't know each other. These are not my pacers. These are just guys that are training in E10, and we might have seen each other, but that's about it. But they were like, hey, the Musungu staying with us. He's very strong, but he's definitely struggling to keep up in this last one. So they helped me. They were like, stay here with us. And that was so cool. That definitely gives you that extra boost of energy of, all right, let's go, let's keep up, let's stay with them. And for them, it's pretty cool too, because they have the camera, and like I've said in previous videos, this is exposure for them, and they need that exposure. Um, this last trip that we did for the camp, we had two of our pacers got invited to international races. And I'm not saying it's because of us, but the exposure definitely helps. So for them, it's cool to have the cameras and be training up there with me. And at this point, they've seen me in the long runs, they've seen me in the workouts, and, I, and they see that I'm trying my best and that I'm working really hard. So they're happy to help me and keep me company and push me and just be there with me, which helps a ton for me. So it was definitely a really good day. I was very proud. I was very happy. I was very tired, but a good tired. The tired where you're like satisfied and that feeling accomplished because you work really hard and because you gave it your best. So today was a good day and I was proud, very proud. All right, that was 10 by three minutes. I did 10 out of 13 with the front pack. So a lot better than last week and the week before that. So definitely each week feeling better, stronger, more comfortable and more, what's the word, confident to be up in the front. Definitely struggling, it wasn't easy. And they had three more. But if you can see, we started like 100 or I don't know how many, say 50. And I was in the front with five guys, so. Step in the right direction, each week stronger. It's good, it's hard. I know why they call it the Boston part because the first three are going down, then it's like, huge hills which where I finished and the last three is downhill kind of flattish but <laughs> I didn't get to that point so 10 out of 13 I'm very happy with it uh, I don't know the average pace it's too complicated to say it to see it right now I'll see the splits later but we were definitely running in each three minutes a little over a K and a very up and down course super good I'll take it so definitely a good day Ooh. so the workout of today is very nice we did, I did 10 times, but it's good for me because I'm coming up with my injury. So it makes me to run 10 and uh, constant speed. But the uh, front line was not far, I was behind them, but it was good. Fantastic. I wanted to stay a little longer. It's, but only, it's only maybe two or three times they push. 
up there, down there. Mm -hmm. You see they push. I see your problem. It's here. Yeah. <laughs> your problem. Yeah. You're, you're like yeah. me. When we come here, he, yeah, it's hard. Because right. mm -hmm. you're going fast, yes. going up. But flat. It's okay. Now I you are strong, okay. Yes. But here, don't yeah. know you have a problem. That's when I start <laughs> suffering. <laughs> I know. Yeah. That's why if I stay here longer, <laughs> then I'll get oh, used to it. Oh, that's why. That's why. Okay. But now, so Chris, the foot. The bread is my bread. But better each week, and that's what matters. Going in the you right see, direction. See that guy with the uh, bags? They run fast only two times or yeah, three. Yeah, and then they, they push, run. push, push, and then oh, they yeah. finish. And then that's why we need the coach to be in yeah. front exactly, and, exactly. and tell him like no, you have to go and only do you know, two. You know three one, Luis, three one, you start a little not slow but not faster. Yeah. And then second one, you increase, third one, you go faster. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Even I see the guy who was having weight like this, they said let's go like this. Yes. They want to I was you behind come the front. You know that guy we were we were staying back. Yeah. Back, we back. But you say you need something like going gradually. Yeah, Look, yeah. start pull and then and that is that's where stop. I need experience because like I don't know so I go out with them <laughs> I don't want to get left behind you so are just before you are following the lead. yeah but it was good yeah yeah because I see I was behind I see you are now good. Oh, okay. yeah better than last week and better than the week before so one more week and I'll be even better <laughs> yeah stronger but you, but you, you, you are okay. Can best, mm -hmm. eh? You can run yeah, best this time. Half marathon? You can yeah. run in 61? 60. I want to. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Yeah, you too. Yeah. 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 Man, yeah. that was crazy. Yeah.